I am a monkey, and I have this really awesome tail which can move around and grab things and help with balance, and the apes simply do not have this tail. One of the reasons is that when I move, my two pubic bones can support the weight of the organs in my pelvic cavity because I frequently am running on all fours, holding my vertebral column horizontally. One of the reasons I don't hang vertically is because if I did, then these organs of the pelvic cavity would hang and all I would have is more or less the skin to support them. And this simply is not enough support. The early apes were not that much different in size than old world monkeys, but they decided that they would like to spend more time vertically, whether hanging or even walking on their hind legs, as some apes can do, ranging from gibbons to chimps to humans. When they walked direct, they required more support in their pelvic region. And so the tail was reduced to the point where it was no longer even an external tail. Instead, it formed a coccyx, a tailbone of fused vertebrae. Once the tailbone was kept inside the body, then the muscles which once moved the tail could change their insertions and became a pelvic diaphragm, a sling which could protect the urinary and reproductive organs from the pull of gravity. And so apes possess a tiny tail kept inside their bodies so that the muscles which once moved the tails can form a sling at the bottom of the pelvic cavity to support their organs when they hang or walk vertically because there are no bones in this area to provide support. So ancestral apes lost their external tails but could now be upright walkers and swingers as a result.